In the early days of space exploration, NASA developed a technique to recreate zero gravity, the notorious Vomit Comet. Because the weightless effect of microgravity is nothing more than a continuous freefall, it's possible to simulate it by flying an aircraft in a huge arc or parabola, which, for short periods of time, allow those on board to float as though in space. But the stomach-churning ride could spell trouble for some people. All right, I know what you're thinking. I've got this Achilles heel of the motion sickness. Of course, you're all expecting me to throw up, but I'm not gonna throw up. I am not gonna be sick. Just watch. Just because they call these planes the vomit comets. <laughs> it's gonna be an awesome flight. I am not gonna get ill. Mark my words. So, into another flying machine and into another stylish flight suit. I joined a group of eager participants, including entrepreneur and astronaut Richard Garriott, one of a new breed of self-funded space tourists. This is one of the only privately funded training facilities, offering the public a rare opportunity to cheat gravity in this specially modified Boeing 727. Once in the air, we climb up to 7,300 meters to start the first of 12 parabolas. Here we go. This very first parabola is going to be Martian gravity, so one third my body weight. Flip it over. Ready? Flip, 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 and I can immediately feel myself detaching from the floor of the plane. One-arm push-ups. Okay, lunar gravity. Zero one, so just let your body float. Go up, enjoy, enjoy what it feels like. So you feel your body completely relaxed in the air. The parabolas are becoming increasingly severe. Basically, I'm skydiving inside the aircraft. That is so strange. This thing is uh, pretty cool. You only get short periods of time, maybe 20 seconds, 30 seconds at a time, but it's just like being in space. We're all gonna be facing that way, right? You're gonna kneel, and you're gonna try to crawl as fast as you can, okay? Okay? All right, very hot. So, yeah, sure, okay. Go, 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 go! Woo! I can now better understand how difficult it must be to relearn every physical task during a prolonged space flight. Okay. That is just the most unbelievable experience. We're now completely weightless, able to fly like Superman. The constant pitching of the aircraft is pretty intense. And by Parabola 10, the effects are starting to hit me. Remember how I promised I wasn't going to get sick? Well, I lied. Look, feeling a little bit ill, but uh, I'm surviving. Barely. He's doing great. Well, I'm not actually. And zero gravity claims another victim. But I'm not alone. Nearly half of all astronauts experience space sickness in microgravity. So I don't feel too bad. So I tough it out for the last few parabolas. And despite the air sickness, it was a fantastic experience. Glad to be back on the ground and ready to explore a simpler way to cheat gravity. <laughs>